Good evening, Internet! Ever wanted to play Xbox 360 games with a mouse? Well, that's what I'm going to be doing today. Thanks to the Amon XB Elite Wireless Controller. Now, the controllers, as you can see over here, look, ma, no cables, right? The wireless, but you're going to need a Xbox 360 wired controller anyway for the authentication. I'm supposed to plug this into the dongle using the wired cable here so that I can send the signal or something. It has to be a wired controller. Play in charge or plug in charge, whatever that is, that's not wired because it's still sending a wireless signal, you're just charging via cable. So you need a wired controller. I don't know if it needs to be, if it explicitly needs to be an official wired controller or if you can use like a, a shitty Mad Cats one or something. But it has to be wired. To set up your new toys, you need to go to tuac.com and find the drivers, the setup utility, and the manual. Don't worry, I put links in the description. Next, you need to install the drivers. And, when prompted to, plug in the USB dongle while holding down its button, or else your computer will shit on you. If you want to use the wand and mouse with your computer, plug in the dongle without holding down the button after you've installed the driver. But first, run the setup utility. Use the firmware tab to update the Amon firmware. Obviously. What do you think the firmware tab would do? Make you a sandwich? The PC setup tab lets you configure your controls. You can use the mouse by itself with your computer. You don't need to use the wand with the mouse at the same time. You can use the mouse and your keyboard like you normally would. You can only map keyboard buttons to the Amon which is a little disappointing. Sensitivity can be adjusted on the fly by holding in the mouse's F button and scrolling the wheel. I mapped all kinds of different controls to the, uh, the face buttons, so I'll just hit them with my thumb, throw a nade, spike, phase on out of here. I wouldn't recommend replacing your current gaming mouse with the Amon. I guess it's a, uh, if you don't already have a gaming mouse, the Amon can serve as a... Well, you'll get double use out of it if you bought it to use with your 360. But, if you uh, already have a sweet-ass gaming mouse, like the Logitech MX518, I wouldn't recommend using the uh, Amon with pretty PC gaming. That being said, the extra thumb buttons and the four-way scroll sure is, uh, sure is nice. Come in, come in. Have a look around. Sure, Marcus, I'll have a look around. How about I burn you? No? No? No, I'm not doing it for you? Alright, screw it. Okay, enough of that. In the setup utility, change the 360 layout to suit your game as well as suit your style. You can't have the same command mapped to more than one button. And you also cannot remap the start, back, and guide buttons. The wheel layout section lets you map buttons to the mouse wheel's directions. But again, you can only map one button per direction. So if you want mouse wheel up and mouse wheel down to both be your swap weapons key, for example, you're shit out of luck. The most important tab is the 360 setup section. Here, you can adjust the mouse's dead zone, aiming down the sight speed, sensitivity of the individual X and Y axes. If this all looks daunting, Man up and hear me out. The Factory Profiles drop-down has pre-made settings for games such as Gears, Battle Fail, Call of Dude Bros, as well as some generic ones. More importantly, you can adjust these settings in-game, on the fly, using the mouse's F button. The PC setup, 360 layout, and 360 setup can all be saved individually, so you can change your controls without worrying about losing your dead zone settings. After you loaded your profile, Grab your dongle, plug in the smaller cable to the back, plug the other end into your wired gamepad, and then insert the dongle into a USB port, like so. The light will turn on on the back. Power up the system. When you do that, the lights will flash, like so, on the gamepad, that's normal. Now your mouse and your wand are good to go. 
let's uh, let's shoot some stuff. On the 360, I tested the Amon XB Elite with two games, ODST and Minecraft. The first thing I realized was that it feels like a mouse. You don't have acceleration that was noticeable, there wasn't smoothing to speak of. Now it didn't feel perfect, but that's probably my own fault because, well you saw the uh, 360 setup tab, there are all these different options to to modify depending on the game. For example, in ODST, the X axis is much more sensitive than the Y axis, so you're gonna wanna tweak those independently in terms of sensitivity and probably dead zone. You're gonna wanna experiment to find proper settings that suits your playstyle and suits the games. Different games will have their own settings in terms of the different axis sensitivities, and acceleration and stuff like that. You can map buttons to the scroll wheel, but it's not a very good idea. Take a look at this footage from Minecraft. I'm scrolling the wheel up and down, one notch at a time. Notch not being a Minecraft joke. Every time I scroll the wheel a single notch, it registers as five or six button presses, if it registers at all. If you map buttons to the left and right motion of the scroll wheel, the same thing happens. Needless to say, that sucks. The scroll wheel has another useful function, and that's adjusting the camera. You can adjust the camera left and right, up and down, using the wheel. I found this to be particularly useful in segments where you're driving a vehicle or using a mounted turret. Because in those segments, normally when you move the camera, it moves really slowly compared to when you're on foot. The Amon goes for about $60 Canadian on eBay. And that includes the fast, free international shipping. There are many other mouse controllers and converters out there and adapters for the 360, such as the Fragenstein, FragFX, XScorch, XIM, but you will probably have a hard time finding them brand new in a sealed box for that price. Not to mention that you can use the Amon with a computer as well. Considering a regular ass wireless Xbox 360 controller costs $60 and the XIM3 keyboard and mouse adapter goes for $150, the Amon's not such a bad deal. Just don't forget that you need a wired controller for the Amon to work. And some AA batteries. If you're a PC gamer looking to comfortably play console games, or if you don't want to pay for expensive adapters and have to run wires through your living room, or if you simply don't want to play shooters with a gamepad, I'm going to recommend the Amon XB Elite. You will need to find the right settings for your games and remember your custom control mappings but those are small prices to pay in order to mouse aim on a console.